Hey guys, this is Niv once again from the of Irvin here to talk about toys, comics, mangas, movies, and shows that we love under the geeky sun. Hey guys, so here we are once again with a slew of Spider-Man videos. Just a heads up, warning, uh, we will actually be discussing some of my latest acquisitions in terms of the Spider-Man figures. The, this is uh, one of the toughest uh, items that I was looking for uh, to complete my Spider-Man set. Actually, I am still looking for a future foundation Spider-Man. If possible, uh, the baghead Spider-Man, the one where he's wearing the Fantastic, uh, Fantastic Four uniform but is wearing a paper bag uh, for a mask. Um, MCU Spider-Man, um, it's actually a pass. Um, both the Ben Riley and um, King Scarlet Spider, they actually both wear it. Uh, ben wore it during his uh, stint before Peter quit his uh, uh, Spider Man persona. And then Kane actually wore it afterwards, around the 2000s as another Scarlet Spider. Very different designs, but uh, yeah, they, they are both called Scarlet Spider. But, once again, we're here um, to talk about this gorgeous, gorgeous little guy here. This is the comic version of the Iron Spider. For those who are not initiated, this is the original look of the Iron Spider. It is a gift from Tony Stark um, during the uh, first the much better the much much better Civil War. There is Civil War 1, Civil War 2. Civil War, New War what happened there is that uh, the new warriors actually infiltrated uh, a villain's uh, hideout for their TV show. And one of the villains there, maybe one of these days I will have it custom, Nitro used his mutant powers to make large explosions that killed dozens, hundreds of children prompting the government to actually initiate uh, a protocol or the Superhero Registration Act wherein superheroes must declare their identity in order for the government to actually um, monitor their activities. Cap was so against it. Tony was a pro-registration, so they part ways. Thus, a civil war was started. Initially, Spider-Man was with Tony. He revealed his identity to the public, ended up having me killed. Aunt May, that is. This is the gift or the costume that he wore during the first half of the series. As I mentioned, he is pro-registration, pro-Tony. But eventually, he went back to his uh, original costume when he switched sides. So there you go, an immediate size comparison between um, Iron Spider and 616 uh, Spider-Man, or as we call him, Peter B. Jordan, uh, Peter B. Parker, Peter B. Jordan, <laughs> who the heck is that? Anyway. So, as you can see, not much is different from the toe up, but if you will notice, the head here is sporting a different uh, head. If I'm not mistaken, the only other figure that uh, has this head is the Future Foundation uh, Spider-Man. 
And then another thing is that there's this yeah, what what the, what is this? The backpack thing. Later I'll show you what's that that for, but that's it. So let's go to the question what are, what is that uh, magical backpack for? As you can see, or as you've seen in the Avengers uh, Infinity War and Endgame, uh, the Iron Spider was equipped with uh, spider legs, or spider leg-like uh, contraption in the back to like mimic uh, how a spider looks. So you install it like this in the back. Cool, right? But there's actually uh, four of these. But in the comics, uh, wait, just give me a second. <laughs> Can't install it right. One second. Yeah, those are slippery. It actually in the comics. Okay, let, let me just uh, clarify this. In the comics, correct me if I am wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. That's how it looked. But in the toy version and the Infinity War version, um. It look look like this. Anyway, just a little rant here before anything else. I am actually uh, unhappy with Hasbro putting the Marvel Universe or the four inch three and three quarter um, line on hold or it, they killed it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't work for Hasbro. But they could have actually used the same idea in the comics if you are really familiar with the comics. Uh, Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man Switch Buddy. For a while, Dr. Octopus was known as the Superior, superior Spider-Man. He also have uh, spider legs like this in that costume. So they, might, they may have just uh, recycled this to produce a Superior Spider-Man or... I don't know, uh, not, not Superior Octopus. Superior Octopus, he went back to having octopus uh, tentacles. So, articulation-wise, let's try to do it with this uh, contraption in, in, in. He will look up that much, down. Hands will go out this far. 360. Uh, okay. <laughs> it didn't hit the... Uh, no, it, it will. It will actually hit the legs. And then single jointed elbow, wrist swivel. Okay, did two down. <laughs> the airframe joint will make him go forward or crunch forward this much, back this much. Legs will kick forward this much, side, and then back. Double jointed knees and uh, a swivel and a little up. Very, 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 very minimal down and up. So that's it. That's it for this toy. Uh, Design-wise, uh, they captured how the Iron Spider looked in the comics. Do I um, think they could have improved more? Well, basically, the legs. That's still that's the same issue with this body, as I mentioned. Um... For this particular book, uh, they keep on recycling it, but there were minimal improvements. They will only add improvements if the character will actually have accessories such as this. So, what do you think about the review? Uh, what do you think about the uh, figure? Um, please do sound off in the uh, comment section below. Please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please visit my Facebook page. The Da of Irvin, or The of Irvin, um, as mentioned, Facebook page. And as mentioned, if you do have any comments, um, suggestions, requests, please sound off in the comments below. And I really do appreciate your time. I really do appreciate talking to you guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye.